China has just taken a massive step into the future and possibly into a new era of control. Meet the PM01, the world's first real AI-powered robotic police officer now patrolling the streets without a human in sight. Facial recognition, license plate scanning, autonomous threat response, and it's just one of the robots China launched this year. But that's only the beginning. Behind the scenes, humanoid robots are serving customers, building websites, lifting heavy construction gear, and even following you across devices as virtual assistants. AI isn't just replacing jobs anymore. It's replacing roles we thought only humans could do. And it's happening faster than anyone expected. So what's really going on in China's AI revolution? Are we witnessing innovation or automation gone too far? Let's break it all down. And trust me, you'll want to see this. Towering silently, outfitted with sensors, scanners, and surveillance modules, PM01 represents a radical departure from conventional policing. Built for real-world deployment, this robotic unit autonomously patrols public areas, executing tasks once managed by trained personnel. PM01 is equipped with facial analysis software, license identification systems, and thermal imaging tools. It navigates urban zones, interpreting surroundings through embedded AI protocols. Using real-time data interpretation, it detects irregularities, flags potential threats, and communicates findings instantly to centralized platforms. Unlike static cameras or drone flyovers, this machine operates without operator input. It can follow moving objects, distinguish behavioral anomalies, and assess crowd patterns using machine-learned logic. Every movement it observes, every face, plate, and signal, becomes part of its adaptive processing loop. Its creators claim PM01 can reduce manpower costs, maintain constant vigilance, and improve responsiveness during emergencies. It never tires, never blinks, and doesn't hesitate. However, civil rights experts have raised urgent concerns. Critics argue that constant machine presence could normalize invasive oversight. With no emotional understanding or human judgment, machines like PM01 may escalate situations based purely on algorithms. Still, it's difficult to ignore the momentum. This isn't an experiment locked inside a lab. PM01 is already in motion, a rolling sentinel ushering in a new kind of law enforcement paradigm. Whether viewed as innovation or intrusion, this robotic presence signals a clear shift in power dynamics between state, technology, and individual privacy. And while citizens navigate sidewalks and intersections, they may no longer be watched by people, but by code on wheels. In bustling showrooms, sleek malls, and high-traffic exhibition centers, a new kind of assistant is turning heads. Nicknamed Iron, this humanoid android isn't just for display. It speaks, listens, and interacts with customers in natural conversation. Standing nearly six feet tall with fluid movements, Iron can greet guests, introduce products, and even answer questions with precision. Its creators designed it to mimic human behavior using advanced speech models and gesture control to convey expressions in emotion-like responses. Beyond presentation, Iron is built for practical retail engagement. It can handle checkouts, provide inventory updates, and manage multilingual queries, all while maintaining consistent tone, body language, and professional etiquette. What separates Iron from previous service bots is its facial tracking, gaze coordination, and real-time feedback loop, allowing it to adjust tone or content depending on customer sentiment. Shoppers often mistake it for a human employee at first glance until the mechanical smoothness gives it away. Developers suggest robots like Iron could replace frontline roles, especially in hospitality, customer service, and event support. That's already happening. In several locations across China, Iron units are deployed full-time, assisting hundreds of people daily without taking breaks, sick days, or losing patients. Yet not everyone feels reassured. Critics warn that once androids begin performing emotional labor, smiling, nodding, reassuring, real interaction may become scripted, synthetic, even manipulative. Still, for businesses chasing cost efficiency and consistent service, iron may be irresistible. The line between employee and machine is beginning to blur, 
and for many, they never saw it coming. Inside modern development labs, a quiet revolution is underway. DeepSeek V2 isn't another chatbot or assistant. It's a full-stack AI engineer. From planning to code completion, debugging to deployment, this model executes software builds independently. Given only a basic instruction like create a note-taking platform, the system begins generating detailed flowcharts, breaks down modules, structures APIs, and crafts usable front ends. Without pause, it integrates interface components, aligns backend logic, and ensures functionality across the stack. Unlike traditional frameworks needing user prompts or pre-written scripts, DeepSeek V2 understands broad goals. It asks targeted questions, refines its approach, and improves layout responsiveness through learned iterations. The architecture isn't reactive. It's initiative-driven. That means it decides which tools to use, selects relevant libraries, and organizes directories intuitively. Each decision mimics trained developer habits, not template copying. An impressive feature includes its sandbox execution mode, allowing testing across isolated environments. If errors occur, it auto-debug processes, revises syntax, and relaunches tasks. No human needed. Analysts observing trial runs found it could deliver functional products in record time, bypassing bottlenecks usually requiring multiple team meetings or workflow approvals. This changes not only creation speed, but also labor structures. Critics argue quality may suffer, yet early adopters celebrate rapid delivery, particularly for MVPs and internal systems. What once required weeks of back and forth between product managers, designers, and coders now happens in hours through a single machine capable of understanding both language and logic. With DeepSeek V2, the role of human programmers may evolve from builders to overseers. We've just walked through a world that's not five or 10 years away. It's already unfolding around us. From robotic law enforcement patrolling public areas without oversight, to humanoid agents managing sales floors, lifting construction beams, and even writing full applications without human input. The age of autonomous intelligence is no longer theoretical, it's operational. China's rapid deployment of these systems reveals a clear direction. Efficiency, speed, and total integration between digital systems and physical environments. But it also surfaces critical questions. What happens to people when machines take over tasks once seen as uniquely human? Who benefits? Who gets left behind? Whether it's the towering construction droids replacing skilled crews or invisible AI agents silently managing code bases, the impact is spreading, not just in factories or tech labs, but into everyday life. And this is only the beginning. As nations race to build faster, smarter, more capable systems, one thing becomes certain. Humanity's relationship with work, identity, and control is being rewritten. Will these technologies empower us or quietly automate us into irrelevance? One thing's clear, ignoring these shifts isn't an option. The transformation is already underway. If this video opened your eyes to just how far AI and robotics have come, hit that like button. Subscribe for more future tech breakdowns and drop a comment below. Are we witnessing progress or surrendering control? Let's talk about it before the next upgrade goes live.